I'm going to show you what to enter in the input par and output par boxes in hybrid. There will be no math, no fractions, no formulas, no theory, just the answer to this question. In fact, I'm not even going to put the answer at the end. Here's the answer. Here are all the settings to use if you're working with an AVI video file that you captured with an SD capture device. I'm even going to help people who wear reading glasses. Here are the crop settings to use. Here are the PAR settings to use. Here are the target resolution settings to use. Want to upscale the video to a higher resolution? Here you go. Type in these numbers. You could click away now, but you would miss some pretty good stuff, including the joke at the end of the video. So why are those numbers correct? It turns out that SD capture devices digitize videos with pixels of this shape. If you're familiar with Adobe Premiere Pro, you can tell that software to interpret the pixel aspect ratio. Interpret is the term that Premiere Pro uses. And what Premiere Pro lists as D1 slash DVNTSC 0.9091 that's the exact same thing as what hybrid calls input par 10 by 11. Now, I know I said no math, but let me find my inner Khan Academy. <clears throat> so let's write the fraction 10 over 11. 10 over 11, which is another way of saying 10 divided by 11. Divided by 11. And both of these are equivalent to equivalent to 0 0.90901. By the way, if you enjoyed my impression of the Khan Academy guy, or if you like this video for any other good reason, then please press the like button as it'll help others to find the video. Okay, so that explains input par. Now, what is this output par? In Premiere Pro, this is where that setting is located, and it does the same thing as it does in hybrid. You're instructing the software to create a new video file with pixels of this particular shape. Let's look at a practical example. Here is a frame of video from a VHS tape captured in virtual dub at a resolution of 720 by 480 with an input par of 10 by 11. Because I chose to capture the extra black space on the sides, I now want to crop that away. So let's say eight pixels crop from the left and eight pixels crop from the right. Now, removing these 16 pixels is a good idea because it reduces the resolution to 704 by 480. And when you convert the output pixel aspect ratio to one by one, the target resolution changes to 640 by 480. A video with a resolution of 704 by 480 with a pixel aspect ratio of 10 by 11 is the same as a video with a resolution of 640 by 480 and a pixel aspect ratio of one by one. If they're equivalent, does it matter which settings you use? No, I don't think it matters as long as the device on which you eventually play that video knows how to interpret the video. To test this out, I uploaded two videos with those two different but equivalent settings to YouTube. And as you can see, YouTube is displaying them exactly the same way. So in conclusion, Use these settings when working on video captured with an SD capture device. Feel free to increase the target resolution if you want to upscale your video to HD, for instance, to 1440 by 1080. And remember that these numbers work perfectly with a crop of 8 on the left and 8 on the right, but what happens if you want to remove the head switching noise at the bottom of the video? How does that impact things? Well, you'll have to adjust the numbers a bit. The first option is to add some additional cropping to the left and to the right to get the target resolution back to 640 by 480. In this case, I added 13 on the left and 12 on the right, but you can adjust these however you want as long as the resolution ends up at 640 by 480. The second way to fix this is to change the target resolution width to 640, but now you'll notice that the height isn't tall enough. But we can solve this by adding black bars to the top and the bottom to add some extra lines to get us back to the correct number. So you select letterbox and you change the height to 480 and this will create those extra lines. There's another way. Man. The third way to fix this is to manually override the target resolution. You unselect the auto adjust box and then you adjust the numbers so that they read 640 by 480. 
Now, this will skew the image a bit, but I think if you're within around 10 lines, it won't really be noticeable. And now the joke at the end of the video. How many ears does Captain Kirk have? Three. The left ear, the right ear, and the final front ear. Shh.